The horses are leaving the paddock area this afternoon's sixth race. Today's sixth race is the $100,000 championship final for two-year-old filly trotters in Ohio Sires. A field of eight going to the post. Here is the lineup. From off the rail is a daughter of Amro Iliad, owned by Gail and Peter McCann of Groveport, Mary Apking of Cincinnati, trained by Jim Marley Jr. With a side of downs record of 204 and 4, earnings of 17,000, seventh in point standings, Jeff Fout driving Lillian. The two is a speed in action filly owned by John Zimmerman of Defiance and Tom Weber of Stryker, Jim Daly the trainer, a side of downs qualifying mark, 205 and 3, earnings of $8,000. Ninth in point standings, serene action for driver Jim Daly. Number three is a daughter of Didem, owned by Jimmy Tipton of Akron, Ohio, Jerry Ross Sr. training. With a raceway park record, 201 and 4, earnings $29,000, leading all point standings. A win of the first and second legs. Dan Ross driving, Dias Connection. Number four is a daughter of final score on by Yuri Umholtz, Martin and Kennedy Sports Corporation of Arizona and Ohio. Claire Umholtz, the trainer. A Northfield record of 202 and four, earnings of $16,000. Fourth in point standings, a winner in the third leg, Hot Scots with Claire Umholtz. Number five is another daughter of Dido. All by Ralph Guthrie of Athens and Gene Cruz of Logan, Ralph Guthrie training. A Circleville mark of 208 and three earnings of $11,900. Tenth in point standings, Dave Myers driving Red Curie. Number six is a daughter of Well Done, owned by Jack Germonti of Wandsworth and Paul Bailey of Mansfield, Ohio, Kelly O'Donnell training. A Center Downs record of 202 and three fifths, earnings of 14500 Currently third in point standings, a winner in the second leg, Kelly O'Donnell driving Heather Weather. Number seven is a daughter of Didem, owned by Mr. Leonard. B. Steam at a middle point, Wagner of Spencerville. Dennis Putnam is the uh, trainer. A uh, Northfield record of 202 and four, earnings of $30,000. Fifth in point standings, a win in the fourth leg at Northfield Park, Jay Cross driving Hoslan Daya. And from the outside, number eight, daughter of Curry the Message. Owned by Linda Clendenin of Swanton, Ohio, Ron Bateson, the trainer. A raceway park record, 201 and 1, earnings of $24,700. Second in point standings with a win in the third and final leg of Ohio Sires. Greg Bateson driving, sweet little devil. There is your field now for this afternoon's first of two $100,000 championship finals. Win play show per race, two-year-old filly at Trotters in the 1996 $100,000 championship final. Lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go, and sweet little devil lagging behind, and uh, they're off, and it's Heather Weather, who fires hard and quickly, takes a lead, Lily out of the inside, came away second, Red Curie is on a break, leaving. As they move into the first turn, Heather Weather is the early leader by two and a half, three inside and second, Lillian. Serene Action came away in fourth. Hustlin Dyer looking to drop in five, but Dyer's connection is right there on the inside. Racing into sixth as they approach the first quarter mile marker, Heather Weather with the lead, opening panel 28 seconds flat. Coming through the stretch for the first time, and it's a 13 to one shot with a lead by two and a half. Lillian on the inside is trotting in second. Serene Action has closed the gap in third. Hustlin Daya two lengths in fourth. Here comes Daya's connection now. First up at the outside in fifth. With the cover in sixth, it's Hot Scott. Sweet Little Devil is racing in seventh on the trailer. Following the break is Red Curie. Into the clubhouse, turn the go, and on the front for the lead, it's Heather Wonder, but there goes Daya's connection sent right to the front. The half, 59 and one. And today, it's Daya's connection who comes from off the pace. She leads now a length. But Heather Weather will string her out on the inside. She's a still a game second. To the outside of third is Hot Scott. Inside and fourth, Lilliad. Outside of fifth comes Hustlin Daya. They race into the final turn, and Daya's connection has had enough. Heather Weather right back to the outside. Here comes Hot Scott. 
Three quarters, 129 and one as they round the final turn. Heather Weather reclaims the lead, has put away Dias Connections Challenge. And to the outside is Hot Scott. Hustle and die within striking distance as they turn for home. Now, lost at an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come to the inside. With the lead, it's Heather Weather, Hot Scott. On the outside, Hustle and die as they drive the deep stretch. It's Hot Scott, Heather Weather. Hot Scott has taken the lead. And Hot Scott will take the 1996 championship final in 201 and three fifths. Second was Hustle and die, third, Heather Weather. Sixth race is official. Ladies and gentlemen, trackside in the winner's circle. The winner of the sixth race, the four Hot Scott. A bay daughter of final score from the speedy Scott mare, Hortz Scott. Owned by the Syndicate of Urine, uh, Omholtz and Martin of Ohio and Kennedy Sports Corporation of Arizona. She was bred by the Millen Acres of Ohio. Trained and nicely driven this afternoon by Claire Umholtz. Hot Scott, who was fourth in point standings coming into the day's final, winner of the third leg, now has three wins to her credit in eight starts and certainly the biggest win of her young career this afternoon. Trotting the mile in a record time, 201 and three fifth. Track side to make the trophy presentation. The president and director of Mid-America Racing Association, Mrs. Charles Hill. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the 1996 champion, the two-year-old filly, Hot Scott.